what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here once again with some more slam dunk reaction today we're going to be doing episodes 34 and 35 appreciate you guys you guys have been watching these videos appreciate it we're averaging somewhere around um about two three hundred views on my slam dunk videos so i really do um i mean over time over time i mean a day when on a date drops get at least 100 to 150 views um but as i said those are my averages and i'm happy with my averages when they start going up they start going up i can't tell you guys i know some people have an issue with you know me putting this stuff on google drive or whatever sometimes you can't watch them sometimes so you can't preview the file sometimes it's a watch limit and those are the issues we have to deal with i am not going to go through the rigmarola of going on the um of trying to get these episodes up on youtube i just do not have the time i don't have that kind of time i'm not going to hire an editor okay to do none of that i don't make enough money on youtube to be paying nobody to do this stuff okay um so the, the people who have that kind of viewership they can do that okay um we'll take our time and we'll grow over here and the people who authentically want to be here for terabyte reacts will be here okay so thank you guys so much appreciate y'all keep the comments coming keep the likes going man appreciate it um sakuragi hanamichi he's learning he's learning and i'm glad that he's learning and coming to an understanding of what it means to be a basketball player and learning these um other things um you know that is going to push him into true um push him into being a true genius and i'm looking forward to that not this you know what i'm saying i, I guess you the, the positive thing you can take out of this is that you know him calling himself a genius will push him to be an actual genius you know what i'm saying we know he's no genius but by any means at this point but it is what it is anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in let's go watch these reactions and i will see you guys for the review all right so that was episode 34 and 35 of slam dunk man it was cool dude can't catch a break two more episodes and we still see him struggling you know what i'm saying with the fouls nobody has faith in him the whole staring thing like <laughs> like i knew that shit was not gonna work in a real game because nobody Nobody is really watching your eyes when you play basketball. You're supposed to keep your eyes on the ball. Not somebody you not supposed to be looking at somebody's face. You're not supposed to be looking you're supposed to be watching the ball. That's how you get steals. You know what I'm saying? And you know, that's how no looks catch a lot of people off guard because you don't watch the eyes. And you know, um in a sport like like that you don't have really have time to to really look at someone's eyes you can glance but you're not really like staring at somebody's eyes like you know what i'm saying like do i get intimidated by eyes <laughs> um you know what i'm saying it, it just it's not gonna happen anyways guys um not much to say here they lost they, they not they lost um they won again so they're on to the fourth round um so kind of going through the, the motions right now they're not really showing the games they're showing that they're they're washing teams right now because th that four that four you know what i'm saying that starting five is really good with just you know with with the four um you know but he's got to work his way up to the starting point he is He's a rookie, man, and he's like the the um, the quintessential of what you expect from somebody who's never played basketball before, just learning, and you know what I'm saying. Except for the layup thing, <laughs> that was that was overdone and over exaggerated in my opinion. Um, but that's just that's just me. 
seems like I'm the only one that felt that way. Um, but in any case, he's still pulling through to becoming, you know, you know, it, the, the slow development um, of his character of learning how to play ball. You know what I'm saying? He's not like a, um, you know, in Ippo, they got straight to the point. And this is more of like a slow character development of him going through the stages of learning different rules of basketball and how to play basketball. He's practically learning how to play basketball. Like, I'm talking about like in every aspect possible. You know what I'm saying? Defense is not an easy thing to do. I'm glad that they expounded upon that to let you know defense. Defense is not easy. To do it without fouling people, it is really, it's not that easy. You know what I'm saying? Uh... And you still, you know what I'm saying, will foul. You still will foul people, even if you are a, an expert, expert of a defender. We can use the, the, the examples of, I think, I don't think, I think Le LeBron has ever fouled. I think LeBron has fouled out in his career probably like two or two times, I think, <laughs> in his career. I think it's only like two times he's ever been um, fouled out. And he's one of the best defenders in the NBA even today. You know what I'm saying? Even though some people might not think that, you know what I'm saying? But I think he's still a pretty good defender. You know what I'm saying? At one point in his career, he could I think he was the runner-up um, defensive player of the year, even though that year he was supposed to win. And for some reason, they gave it to Marcus Hall. And I, and I was like, I don't know how he didn't win it. I guess they just didn't want him to get. In my opinion, I think the person, um, the vote, that did the voting was a Michael Jordan fan. And that is just my opinion. I feel like they have some bias against him. And that's the reason why they didn't give it to him. Because they're like, you know what I'm saying? He's winning championships. You know what I'm saying? He's coming to be, you know, the GOAT of basketball or whatever the situation is. And they're like, to give him this, you know what I'm saying? Something that only, I think, up until that point, it was only two people that has done it there was only two people that did it to get mvp and defensive player of the year in the same year and uh, i think it's michael jordan and someone else and then Giannis did it last year so um they didn't want to give him that you know what i'm saying and i it just to me it just didn't make sense because marcus all was on second all defensive team and i was like but that doesn't make any sense how are you defensive player of the year and you're not on first team all def all defense for the year. It just didn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? And he's, it, these are the same people that do the voting. It's not even like it's not even like it's a different set of people. <laughs> you know? So it's just weird to me. It's just weird to me. But defense is not an easy thing to do in basketball. It's one of the harder things to learn in basketball that's why if you're a good defender people talk about your defense because it's an accolade that most people don't get to that to a certain level of playing defense you know and, and doing it the right way and not trying to injure people like Draymond Green <laughs> you know so people out here you know I'm, I'm glad that they really expound upon that and to kind of like going through the step-by-step -step of him learning to become a better defender because that's his offense is not there yet offense is something that you do have to work on to get better you know what i'm saying and we have they have enough offensive power but he needs to be the next anchor on defense like akagi you know what i'm saying everybody else has their different skills and stuff like that so if he can really step up in that area and become a really good rebounder and steal her off the ball and all this other stuff i think it's going to work out well for him but in any case guys thank you guys so much for tuning in man it's your boy terabyte reacts don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment and i'm so happy that i'm watching this anime man it's a really good anime i don't mind the slow development sometimes animes do rush things and they don't cover a lot especially when it comes on to this, the source material that they're using for the anime and i hate when you know you know you guys have to come and be like oh this is not how it was in the manga like i hate when that happens because now i feel like i'm missing something 
you know now i'm feeling out like i'm missing out on something and i might want to see the manga pages and i have to go look it up and see did they do it this way it's kind of like the urge that i have right now to go and go and read the attack on titan manga because i really want to know what happens next i know it comes back on sunday um you know everybody is hyped up for like the next two episodes which everybody says stuff is just gonna go bat crazy in that anime so uh, i'm i'm just like i'm at awe because i think when attack on titan is done it might be it might go down as the greatest story to ever be told in anime or or manga it could be it could be it might be the greatest story ever told and it's not even that super long you know what i'm saying i mean we haven't even hit 100 episodes yet in attack on titan like it's like i think it's at like 60 something episodes right now it's not a lot of episodes and it's and it might go down as one of the greatest stories it's definitely at this point one of the greatest stories ever told in my opinion because it's that good but i'm just saying just the temptation alone to go and read the manga right now it's had its peak for me and i'm trying i'm holding out because i really do want to enjoy this journey with y'all if there's anything that is left out after the fact then i'll go back and i'll read it in the manga after the anime is finished um with the show and we can go back so i like I, I don't mind slow development a lot of people said you know we'll say that attack on titan started off slow in my opinion it did not it's just that there wasn't a lot revealed to us in the opening of it if you if you go through the first five episodes of attack on titan and you're not hooked on it then i can totally understand you just have a preference but five episodes into that into that anime and i was hooked on it i wanted to know who the hell are these titans okay but in any case um slam dunk is one of those slow developing shows um that as i said if it's interesting i don't mind slow development if it's interesting if it can keep my attention if the pacing is good which is they've really picked up the pace in the past i want to say maybe five or ten episodes the pace has really picked up since they started playing games and stuff like that so really appreciate that but in any case guys as i said leave a like leave a comment i'm out peace